news alerts and your weather authority forecast with Norma Holland, Evan Dawson, and meteorologist Marty Snyder. This is 13 Pram News on Rochester CW in high definition. Welcome back. Marty's forecast today. A little more lake snow, but not like the last few days. Uh, you know, it's going to taper later today, and eventually we could see a little bit of sun effect sun and a little bit of partly cloudy skies overnight. But expect another inch or two at least, uh, and give yourself extra time. There was some snow overnight. Chime saver traffic is revealing some problems in multiple spots. You're looking at 104 at the Bay Bridge, and look at the roads. Plenty of snow. Uh, slush still on the roads. They're not totally clear. It is going to be slower. We know at Lexington Avenue and Mount Reed Boulevard, there's a two-car accident. And 490 westbound at Linden, there's an accident being cleared. Westbound at Linden, heading for, heading for the city, there's an accident being cleared at Linden. It'll be slow there. So just give yourself time. We'll send it over to Norma. All right. Thank you so much, Evan. There is a new push to remind you to get your flu shot, and an Olympic figure skating champion and Dancing with the Stars winner, Christy Yamaguchi, is championing the cause. So who else would we turn to for this interview but our very own resident expert on the ice? We're talking uh, all about 13 Hello, Amazon. Stacey Pengen <laughs> uh, and Christy Yamaguchi, joined by Dr. Dan Jernigan, a deputy director of CDC Influenza Division. Thanks for being with us both this morning. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, um, let's start off with Christy. You're the mother of two young girls. So for you, getting the flu shot, extremely important. Tell us why you feel uh, people should just, they should not wait any longer. Um, absolutely. I think, um, you know, as an athlete, it was always important to be healthy during competitive season, but now being a mother, um, you know, that's the first thing on my mind is to keep my family healthy. So uh, I definitely make sure both my children are vaccinated. Um, luckily, their birthdays are October, November, so they get in for their annual examination, and I ask for it right away. And um, I also make sure my husband and I get vaccinated just so that the entire household is, is taken care of. So. You know, it's it's a safe and effective way to keep them healthy from the flu, and um, as a mom, why not do that? Yeah, and this is a National Influenza Vaccination Week, so this is a totally timely issue, Doctor. If we could bring you in on this really quickly, um, for people who have not been uh, have not gotten the vaccine this year, it, it covers three. Or it, there's a three-in-one vaccine, right? Which That's includes correct. the swine flu vaccine. That's right. Last year we had to, people had to get two shots. This year you only have to get one shot and so it's got all three viruses that are circulating. And the information so far says that what's out there and is circulating is actually covered well by the vaccine. So there's a lot of benefit to go ahead and getting a shot this year. Vaccine will be available. Uh, there's uh, availability at retail pharmacies, at your doctor's office and at the uh, workplace. So there are plenty of opportunities to get it. And we do recommend that you continue to get it now or, and also, also through the winter holidays. But getting it now would make sure that you're protected by the time that flu starts, which is really happening right now. All right. Well, you certainly uh, have really piqued a lot of people's attention. Uh, and we're glad to see that it's not, you know, the, the situation we faced last year where there were long lines and waits. Uh, Christy, if we can, I, I'd like to bring in my colleague, uh, Stacy Pension here, who is a former ice skater and um, Olympic hopeful, right? Okay. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go that far. Well, she was hopeful to make the Olympics. <laughs> I was hopeful. You're her idol, so why don't you ask her? Yeah, you were my idol growing up, and I, I have to ask, okay, Dancing with the Stars, it was a huge, huge success. You obviously won. Skating with the Stars, have you seen it? You know, I've seen snippets and highlights here and there. I actually, I've got a couple of episodes taped, so I haven't had the time to just sit down and, and watch it, but um, it should be fun. And, you know, I know Johnny Mosley, so... I don't know how he, I think he's doing okay so yeah. far. So hopefully um, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> he is doing well. Okay, so it's hard enough to learn something new. It's hard enough to learn to dance on the ground. But yeah. dancing on blades with people who don't really know how to do it, how, how do you think that's gonna work out? It, it'll be tough. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, skating is a whole nother, I think, level because you know, everyone can walk and, and, you know, if you can move your arms, then <laughs> you can kind of dance. Right. I mean, dancing is all about movement and, and weight shift and everything, but being on the ice and trying to glide and and not drag your partner down <laughs> if you fall <laughs> um, is another thing. So, yeah, I, you know, I think they're doing really well. I think the level of skating is actually um, better than we all expected. I, I, th I think it's going to be very interesting, and I think it'll give a lot of people um, a better appreciation of skating. 
people like yes, you make yes. it look so easy, but then you see normal people go out and doing it, and it's a totally different realm. <laughs> I think you're right, definitely. <laughs> thank you, Christy, and thank you so much, Doctor, and thank you, Stacy, for bringing up those issues, the dancing <laughs> issues, because oh, I would pleasure. fall, I would fall flat on my bum. That's for sure. <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate your time. All right, thank you. Oh, that was fun for you. I know you were really excited to do that. Love interview. Christy. Love Christy. Yeah.